That was William Vitalis with Open My Heart to the World. Welcome to Let's Find Out. The focus of this program is to have our hearts open to the universal, united, kind, loving, and forgiving planet. We have entered into a new decade and new energy form, the transformational 20s. Let's all begin to strengthen the new energies on the planet, strengthen your intuition, and strive to live a peaceful existence free from fear. What strategies, prayers, meditations, and exercises can one use to tap into the higher realms and receive messages from our departed loved ones, creating a higher vibration of living? When we're upset and confused, where can we find the answers? How can we know which path to take? The answers are here on Let's Find Out with our spiritually focused format and guests. And now it's time for tonight's program, Let's Find Out with Elizabeth Joyce. Good evening, this is Elizabeth Joyce. I hope everyone's doing fine in this hot summer weather. Well, we're all experiencing all kinds of levels of evolution. And tonight I'm here with Frank St. James, and we're going to be talking about a new life form for evolution, the gift of integration. Because what's really happening is this virus is a catalyst for ascension. And we need to understand that the wave of the human heart is rising. And as it rises its vibration, the body has to adapt to it, which is part of what's going on here. It's good that we've had to be in quarantine for a while, although I would love it to come to an end. But what's happened is we have to look at our lives and look at what we're doing and see and embrace our family and the people around us, who many times were way too busy of doing other things to be there with our energies and it's better to know that we're able to uh, move forward and make a huge difference being with your family and getting to know everybody all over again which is really what's happening in many places can make a difference isn't that right frank oh it makes the biggest difference uh been talking to uh Relatives I haven't talked to in years and kind of renewal, uh, friendships and family and getting to know everybody again. And it's been uh, particularly enlightening and it uh, also helps um, to talk to people that uh, you, you've been friends with for years and help each other. And uh that's the only way it's going to change. Chaos, working through chaos, brings the positive side. So there's a balance. Once you get through the chaos and confusion and listen, they say in Zen Buddhism, the person that listens knows. The person that speaks does not. And that, that really works. So it's a, one of those times that um, you want to start changing your vocabulary a little bit and start re- reacting to everything. Pull you know, back so a bit. To, there's so much out there. We have to do this. We have to do that. We're so busy all the time. 
And really, uh, what's out there is our is our world with the others, and we aren't. We're too busy and too filled up in the head to be able to listen to what's around us, main, namely our children, our spouse, our our important people, and we don't listen because we're too busy doing other things. And I think that the fact that we are able to change, this is a change, this is a new life form, and it's a gift. That's what people don't see. It's really a gift because we are learning how to relate differently, and we're really learning how to relate differently through patience. That's a big word with a capital P, right, Frank? Yes, it is. And changing a few words uh, could change the way you think. For instance, if you feel nervous, use calm. Every time I feel nervous, I get calm. Every time I'm tense, I'm relaxed. Start putting in words that make sense to you. Let's get out of this um, form of listening to everybody, blah, 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 and get back to ourselves. We've kind of lost that direction. And with the fear, I want to remind people of a couple of things. Remember that if you test positive to the virus, it does not mean that you're going to be dire and that you're going to get it. A lot of people test positive and don't show any symptoms, and they're called carriers. And even after all of this is over, you're going to find that your world is different. It's It may feel a little restrictive in the beginning because you're not used to what's happened. We've been hit like by a time bomb, Frank. We've had to change our complete lifestyle. A lot of people are adapting to it in a very positive manner. A lot of people like working from home, and they're finding in the long run, they're beginning to find that they're more productive and more things can happen. So I know that there's going to be great changes on on how we work and whether we're going to be in a cubicle or in a space where we can really thrive and, and feel our oneness. After all, we create our home, and all the money that we earn goes to build the home. And you're not used to these differences, but there is real beauty that can come out of all this. And I want people that are depressed and sad and not feeling good about themselves to hold on to this. It's a possibility that we can know every step that we're taking and we can plan it and it will work. Thinking, talking, action. Think about what you want. Tell yourself this is not difficult. Tell yourself that I'm going to breathe and walk through this. And then watch what happens. Watch uh, on the other side. Frank, I know that you can look into 2021 and talk about the other side of this and and maybe give us some uplifting um, ideas for this evolution that we're going through. Well, I've been going back in my studies, um, looking over the years, and uh, interesting enough, last night, I woke up about 3.30 in the morning, and I felt like I was lifted out of my body. It felt like the universe said, it's all right, you're going to be all right, and and uh, I've been struggling a little bit with um, breathing, and all of a sudden I felt I could breathe, and, and everything was all right for me, but I've been doing... Um, you know, not intense stuff of um, meditation, but just light stuff. But it starts to penetrate the body and uh, in the mind, and and it works. But um, it was quite an experience last night, this morning. And that's called upliftment. I've I've had that happen several times. I I think it's taking a shower on your insides. <laughs> Um, feels like for it. Those, <laughs> for those of you who consider yourself energy healers, especially distant healers, join any programs that you can find to connect people or tell your clients that are of a distance that you can connect because distant healing works and it's very powerful. And, and you can go online with some groups and look and see if there's any kind of connection that you can connect with because that only strengthens the energy. If five people do distant healing on the same person, 
at the same time. Frank, doesn't that strengthen the energy going to that person? Oh, it certainly does. And and uh, stop thinking that you have this guilt going back. You're related to somebody that did something. Um, you're here right now. And that's the most important thing. And be proud of what you are, whether you're black, white, brown, yellow. Be proud of yourself. And you're here. And you're you're uh, going through a whole cleansing period. That's what I feel now. And it's a time to bring up um, the positive and the negative into a, a level that you can deal with right now. You know, we're going we're gonna to do something, Frank. We're going to ask the audience, what, if any, purpose of this coronavirus are we receiving as humans? right after the cosmic tip but i want to give out the phone number to call in it's 202-570-7057 so share with us one of your concerns if you have a question or what if any the purpose of this coronavirus is for us humans and let us know after the cosmic tip this is elizabeth joyce with let's find out on own times radio And now it's time for your weekly cosmic tip. This is Elizabeth Joyce with Own Times Radio and Let's Find Out. And now it's time for your weekly cosmic tip. This is Elizabeth Joyce with Stargazing, week of August 3rd through August 9th, 2020. There's a primary theme beginning this month that will take us into mid-January. Mars and Aries makes a challenging square to Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto in Capricorn. This occurs on August 4th, August 13th, and the 24th, and will repeat itself two more sets of threes into January. This makes the energy a bit choppy, but you can still maneuver through the month without problems as long as you pace yourself. This week opens on a high note with a full moon in Aquarius at 12 degrees and will be brightly lit up in the sky with the Leo sun. The full moon on August 3rd is challenged by revolutionary Uranus. Every full moon is at its highest cycle and it signals a time of completions and endings linked to friends, organizations, unions, societies, and clubs, including sports clubs. If something isn't working out for you in any of these areas, it is best to wrap it up and bring things to a happy ending. Unfortunately, part of this energy may bring in some negative or depressing communication because of the only Mercury-Saturn opposition of the year, which is slapping you in the face on the same day. However, the Aquarian full moon's energy brings a need for freedom and independence because you can use this energy in a constructive way by stepping outside of your normal routine. Even people who have practiced isolation these past few months will feel the need to run out of the house seeking freedom and change. They're getting a bit restless. This energy can help you find a way out of Saturn's downbeat influence. At the same time, this can be challenging for the demonstrations that have been going on because Uranus is anything but peaceful. However, the moon in Aquarius supports participation in groups, friends, and organizations, even if that means through the Aquarian-ruled internet, such as Zoom. It can help to settle things down a bit. A Leo son wants to open hearts, remember the child within, and play. Uranus in Taurus is a wild card that disrupts the status quo. In Taurus, this energy tells everyone that their values and material world needs are changing, and their old-school thinking is now a part of the past. A higher power is always in charge of the timing. Mercury will move out of Saturn's glare later on Tuesday as it moves into Leo. This brings the style of communication change from timid and humble to boldly expressing your personal opinion, no matter what anyone else thinks. Impatient Mars is making a big challenge to do with Big Jupiter, meaning that you will need to be patient as life changes are implemented. This energy brings luck, strength, and courage as long as you don't go completely wild. Find a way to feel comfortable with the unfolding changes 
And that means trusting your inner connection to your inner spirit guides to help you along your highest path forward. Do not force yourself to go faster or to take on more than is reasonable. Do something physical to dissipate this forceful energy, but don't overdo it. The moon is in Pisces on Wednesday and Thursday, which will help calm the world down. Watch a movie, get quiet to allow new thoughts to flow, or meditate. On Friday, the moon moves into Aries, so exercise, dance, or yoga. Venus enters Cancer until September 6th. This supports home projects, family, and improvements in your diet. Friday, August 7th, in the evening, it's good for pleasant conversations. Venus ends her four-month stay in Gemini and moves into the feminine and family sign of cancer. With Venus in the sign of the crab, you may find yourself a bit more private, homebound, and less social over the next month. Emotional and homeland security is crucial when Venus is in cancer. Expect the next four weeks to be a time of cautious and protective behavior about relationships, finances, income, home, and your loved ones. This is Elizabeth Joyce with Visions of Reality. The website is new-visions.com. If you'd like to make a call to ask a question or book a reading, the 24-hour answering service is 201-934-8986. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you next week. This is Elizabeth Joyce, and we're back. I'm back with Frank St. James on Let's Find Out. And we've just asked you to call in and ask a question if you'd like about what's going on with you during this pandemic time. The number is 202-570-7057. And the question is, what is the gift that this that this pandemic is bringing to the planet? I will tell you that we are... Maintain, we have to maintain our faith. I'm sorry. We need to maintain our faith. It's not the time to lose your connection with spirit. And you will need this connection more than ever going forward. Isn't that true, Frank? It's, it is that time. And it's a time to really review the best things about your faith. And the best things about your faith are what's going to bring you through. If you say, a, if you have a prayer to say, whatever uh, religion or faith you're in, uh, always add something to it. Like I always add, positive thoughts will bring me the goals I desire. And I do that before I go to sleep, because I do most of the time, I wake up positive. In fact, maybe I'm too positive for some people because they're grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have another thing that you can do before you go to sleep. And here it is. I am asking that all the available light energies around me protect me in all ways and be with me and flow all around me and about me. I feel the energy and I want the energy of the support to be with me. And then you can say... I'm asking for health protection and guidance. Thank you for bringing this energy to me, Spirit, and may I carry it with the power of love throughout the day, and may this energy touch the heart of everyone I meet. And you can say it shorter, I'm sure. (laughs) Well, if you take two or three minutes uh, during the day and just say a nice little positive affirmation, you're going to feel better. You're going to start changing the way you think. I like to, um, I always, uh, when I get a few minutes, I always say I'm calm, relaxed, and composed, no matter what's going on. And uh, it does help me through a lot, um, what's going on. Uh, Recently now, I'm getting some people that call, and they're going they really reached their end, they felt. And I'm trying to help uh, a couple people. And they mentioned about committing suicide. Or I'm not a doctor, but we talk through it. And hopefully, 
you know, I'll get another call from them. But most of the people felt better after we talked a while, you know, to get the truth. We're all the same. same. And what I've been doing, I've been encouraging people to do the inner work. You know, we've all been asking for change for a long time. Frank, I remember before you moved down to Asbury, I like this within you. I have a black belt in karate. I studied a, a little bit of ninja. Ninja, the first thing they do is go inside. You've got to change how you feel and react from the inside before you can do it on the outside. And, and Frank, uh, sometimes when people go within, they feel fear. They don't they don't understand that they don't know themselves. They don't understand that they think they're not allowed to have thoughts of upliftment and and they shame themselves and this has to change. We're going to really uh, call on empowerment and we're going to work with the new chakras, the eighth chakra of my grandfather always came through and there was some kind of silent message that helped me work through things instead of getting Mm -hmm. angry at myself yeah we're only angry at ourselves we always are but if you if you live with the awakened presence of spirit or the divine or whatever you want to call it and know that you're walking and surrounded by that energy it changes the way you react the way you feel no one can attack you because what happens is when somebody is yelling at you you're seeing their pain as to why they're doing the yelling and then compassion comes in and compassion is a huge step towards forgiveness and understanding and creating harmony sometimes it's difficult but we can do it all creation comes from thought Right. You thought to create whether or not it was conscious or not. Everything comes from thought. And sometimes Mm -hmm. things happen, you say. Well, I didn't think that was going to happen. But at the same level, you knew that there was a possibility that it could. Sure. Right? Right. So, what is the origin of the um, future? Yeah. I always go back um, to... um, Whatever studies I have been doing over the years, it's always been simple. Ask yourself a simple question. Will this happen? Will this happen uh, to me right now? And the conscious mind will take that thought to the subconscious and and send it up to the uh, superconscious mind. And if it's simple enough, you'll get an answer. It'll go back just like a computer almost. It'll go back to that subconscious and and bang, they're up on the screen or whatever you want to call it. But um, but you'll get your answer eventually. And well, you try get thinking. It within Twenty-four hours. Yeah. Try thinking uh, about your problem before you Google it. <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. think about it, and you might come close to a, a Google solution. They're not always accurate, but but at least but there's know. something to bounce <laughs> there's off a, of. Something to lean on. But you know, it's funny because we all um, think that we do right life review when we pass on. But if you're in a situation that you've created and you and you know that you've been there before, go back and review that situation with your mind. And remember what you would do to create a change. And then you can say, Spirit, I don't choose to endure or have this action. Let's change it and bring it up to a higher level. And when you do that and you hold that in your consciousness, you come to a place of peace within you and all around you. And when that happens, you will find that all of this static electricity comes calms down and it's not as bad as you thought it was and it can work out the way that you want it to work out what is your choice with the recognition of your divine guidance and all of this fabulous energy what's happening around you how can you reveal what you need to do to change this path and it's your choice you either make a glorious choice or you have a decision that 
brings you back to an old pattern that you need to learn the lesson again. Isn't that how it works, Frank? Yes, it does. And uh, it reminds me of um, I was very competitive when I was young, and uh, I should, I thought I should have won this uh, race, swimming race, and uh, and I didn't. I got water in my mouth. I was too close to the person. Um, you know, and he was good. He was good. He was a good competitor. But I, I just felt uh, I got too uh, When I lo- oh, looked at it again, instead of getting mad at myself or despondent, I said, you know what? I was too close to him. Every time he threw his hand down, I got water in my mouth. <laughs> so, um, you know, workout, I just feel like working out your own problems, calm down with your anger, think first, calm down. Now think it through because most of the time you're the one that uh, perpetuated this this problem. And a, and a new affirmation that's good is, I am facing so many challenges right now, I feel overwhelmed. What can I do? Yes. And this is Elizabeth Joyce with Frank St. James on Let's Find Out. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back and give more about how you can love yourself and love yourself right through what we're going through and get to the other side. Your conscious connection to a more mindful world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Being a radio host on IOM FM allows you to build your show on a rich platform with the power of the internet to fulfill your outreach goals and connect with a very specialized and global online audience, unlimited by time and distance. Om Times Radio will provide you with web relevance, a recognizable conscious brand, and with the standard of excellence that has accompanied every single Ohm Times endeavor. Host your show with Ohm Times Radio Network. Elizabeth Joyce's Elixir Tea is really a healing tea. It's blended according to Ayurvedic principles and the chanting of Sanskrit mantras. So it assures a deep cellular healing, relief that flows from within. So drink Elizabeth's healing tea before you meditate. Order it online or call 201-934-8986, 201-934-8986. Consistently attract soulmate clients, begin showing up on brand, monetizing on your calling. Welcome all spiritual coaches, leaders, healers, lightworkers, and practitioners to a show that turns you on in your business and amplifies your magnetism. I'm host, catalyst, and spiritual business coach, Rosalind Fung, and I'm here to journey with you into the juicy and help you discover where the real gaps are. Ignite your mindset and soul with strategies and systems as each episode takes you to the sweet spot that activates your soulgasmic business by tuning in on Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Mountain. Join me for your light language activation and let's magnetize and monetize. A social distancing tip. Putting distance between yourself and others is critical to slowing the spread of coronavirus. So here are ways to stay in contact without the physical contact part. Call, send a text, set up a video conference, post on social media, dedicate a song on the radio. If you have symptoms of fever, dry cough, and shortness of breath, call your health care provider before going to their office. For more info, visit coronavirus.gov. Let's all do our part, because we're all hashtag alone together. Brought to you by the Ad Council. There's a new world coming, and it's just around the bend. There's a new world coming, this one's coming to an end. There's a new voice calling, you can hear it if you try. And it's growing stronger with each day that passes by. There's a brand new morning, wise and clear and sweet and free. 
there's a new day dawning that belongs to you and me. Yes, a new world's coming, the one we've had visions of. Coming in peace, coming in joy, coming in. Elizabeth Hepburn singing There's a New World Coming to remind us that we're at the final barricade of uh, jumping over to a new dimension, the transmuting of fear and working with the light of other dimensions. This is Elizabeth Joyce with Let's Find Out and I'm here with Frank St. James. As the wind of change ruffle the ancient locks within our DNA, we look to new perspectives past we pass the old change of our evolutionary heels and we look forward to a new place where we are going to be humanity serving and the need for our own self-love. So this is good. We are anchoring in this wonderful light through all of the upsets, the changes. And I'm telling you, Frank, I think that what's happened is there's been a big monkey wrench thrown into the lot to just crash all the fear and all of the negativity and now we're left with ashes that we have to rebuild again what do you think no i i do feel that because um as you notice uh, things have changed since all this screaming and yelling and and uh and uh, demeaning uh has been going on and all of a sudden it's changed a bit it's calmed down a bit to where um it's it's actually going after the people that were yelling and and spewing off all these things that uh, that were bringing us down and now they're getting it's uh, you know what goes around comes around and uh you can't be angry all the time and uh so i just feel the universe has come in and is working for us and spiritually and uh it, it just uh i wonder sometimes because i i am a medium and i do a lot of readings bringing through people loved ones and friends that um i wonder if, if they're contributing also to bringing us up you know each individual you know, maybe a mom and a, or a dad or something has been coming through to help somebody pick up, get, you know, pick themselves up and move on instead of uh, instead of sitting there and, and wasting a lot of uh, energy on nothing. So. Well, I really think that you can invoke and experience that energy, and I do think that that beings from the other side as well as angels and our guides are there and you can invoke them um, i like to say i invoke the appropriate divine information sacred wisdom from the creator to pour into my being especially into my mind and consciousness let the divine imprint wisdom and information into my mind and support my ascension and shift humanity's consciousness that's key uh, Frank, because we want to send the energy that we're bringing in for ourselves out to others as well to help heal the world, don't you think? And that's true. And the more that you feel confident in yourself and feel spiritually enlightened, that's when you can transfer some of that to other people that really need it and help out. And it just seems to uh, work that way. It does. We have to um, feel our heart racing and fluttering sometimes. We'll feel there's a ra- range of symptoms that this heart space, the, the beating of the new frequency is coming in. You can feel as if your heart is being crushed in someone's hand. You can feel palpitations, uh, the weight of an elephant in the center of the chest, missing a beat sometimes pressure from inside that's your body absolutely saying 
Get with it. Slow this down. Let me come through. Let me give you the message. Let me help you with your words. Let the divine come in and bring in the love to the situation. The people stand there with their fingers in, in another one's face and saying, you this, you that, all the time when they fight. They don't understand what the problem is. We throw off we throw off what we've done and start blaming the other person. That's called finding the evidence. We find the evidence to get mad at another person when really we may have been the one that made the mistake. So what you need to do instead is say, I see that you did this. I may not understand it, but you had a reason. Can you explain it? That will throw the other person off and it will slow down the anger. And they'll, they'll look at you and say, what? I can't blame you. I have to look at what I did. I think that's amazing. Don't you think, Frank? I think that is so. And, and the, another thing that I've... Uh, I've experienced through all this is uh, when somebody starts yelling and screaming at me and uh, I, I remain calm and I just ask them, where did you get that information? And all of a sudden I draw, they draw a blank. I don't even know where I got it. And they're screaming and yelling. And it shows, what are you, you screaming know, at? Yeah, right. Where did yeah. that come from? You got to move into the heart space. Sometimes I'll say to somebody, I can't talk. I see I can't talk to you right now because you're upset. When you move right. back into your heart space, we can continue the conversation. That, that's really a good one because that also helps to have people look at what they want to do. But we are going through a deep emotional cleansing. And um, the this, this sense of spiking fear is being released. The, all of this... Um, Rage in Portland and Madison, Wisconsin, and all the places, Milwaukee and Chicago and part of Los Angeles. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. And it will when we are together, when we can understand and remember that we don't have to give rise to that kind of anger and hate. I also... Uh... I also wonder about um, the people, which are the majority, that are suffering from a few, and they're right. and uh, and they're not letting these people talk, and they're out there defending their businesses and getting uh, uh, beat up, or you know, they it just uh, amazes me that this could. Uh, it feels like something like crawled out of the earth. And, right, right. And, Very dark. Very and dark. And we're not energy. handling. You know, we find we're out that certain people... not because we've been taught to keep quiet and hang back. We're not mm. handling it, and we're certainly mm. not handling it. Putting handcuffs on somebody and throwing them in jail is only going to make it darker. But I don't have the other answer either, believe me. I, I would love to see somebody come in and people look at them and feel such a quiet that they could, you know, if we get together, we can do it. If we get together with our energies, it beats anything. Ten people I, meditating in a room and sending it out to the planet is incredibly powerful. I think so, a lot of the, uh, a lot of what we're talking about um, a lot of people have never heard that the way we're talking, and they feel helpless, but they're not helpless. Each and every one of us has a special purpose, and we're going to find it, and we're not going to stand by and watch somebody else uh, destroy and, and run over things that we've built up over the years. Family is important. Whatever left of it, please contact them. Talk. And, and this, you know, this my... shift of confidence is, is happening on the planet for everyone to participate in it. And you may participate at whatever level you can. You need if, For you to understand compassion and behavior... You need to love yourself more and others too because you have compassion for those who can't seem to move. They're stuck. 
But when you say I love you, I know that you may have made mistakes, so have I. But I love you, and I'm going to go beyond what you've done with the love. It does penetrate after a while. Well, it's like so everything, else. If, like everything else. Yeah. if you say positive, you say positive with, yourself, with yourself, you can, it just spreads. It spreads that. So how could you be so up? Or how could you be, get through this? This is happening here. This is happening. And if you could stay positive, say those few affirmations we were talking about to yourself every day, it really does work. It really does work. And you can't help other people until you help yourself. And the days that are coming are here. We've all said, well, it's coming. The end of the last days are coming. We're, we're in the, the last days and they're coming. Well, they're here. The grand beings of old that were coming are here. God is a force between space and what is present here. Now is the time for you to shine your light and shimmer as the divine and the light God of life comes and assists mankind with vibrating divine love and compassion for all beings. And so I just wish peace to all beings. Experience the magnificent. Get up in the morning and say, I choose to experience the magnificent. What do you think, Frank? Not only that, be happy you got up in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) Yep, I'm going to have a fabulous, wonderful day. That's what I say every morning. I'm going to have a fabulous and wonderful day. And for me, that's been working. But anyway, Frank, we are at the end of the show, and we've certainly tried to show everybody how to save the world (laughs) and themselves. (laughs) And I love having you here. So I hope that you'll come back and join us at the end of the month as usual. Oh, sure. Sure. You know, and you got your phone number, please. Okay. It's 862 684 1904. 682-684-1904. I'm not used to giving out that. Have you got it? <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Frank. And uh, this is Elizabeth Joyce with Let's Find Out. And thank you for joining us. Please get ready for the meditation. It's a very powerful meditation. It will help you with the virus, and it will help you find yourself within. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time. Good night. This is Elizabeth Joyce. I'm inviting you to join us worldwide to help strengthen and build our immune systems against any and all out of balance materials that may come our way. Visualize a sacred flame inside you. It sits between the middle of your hips and your navel. You can feel the energy coming in from this flame. It's very present and very alive. The color of this flame is amber, representing the new double helix energy that flows in from the center of the universe. Feel this powerful fifth dimension energy rising up from the second chakra to fill the solar plexus chakra at your navel. Know that this healing energy is arising from the flame and merging with your own kundalini as well as your inner fire. Let the top of the flame begin to rise until it reaches your navel. The top of the flame comes to a fine point. If you follow the flame down, it gets wider, encompassing the second chakra. While its tip reaches your navel, your flame is spreading below, filling your abdomen. 
This is the receiving chakra, and you are choosing to receive this energy flowing in from the fifth dimension to help you stay centered, clear, well-balanced, and healthy. It encourages the body not to allow any foreign matter to penetrate it. Allow this flame to rise until the tip reaches the center of your chest, which is your heart chakra. The new heart chakra is a brilliant yellow, so we're allowing the amber flame to pierce through the solar plexus, which is now your green chakra, and up to the heart center, which is the brilliant yellow. And it will expand up to your 10th chakra, which is your new heart center. Now that the tip of the flame has reached the heart, see how your center solar plexus chakra is being filled with this light as well. As you feel the nourishing and expanding warmth of your inner flame, you also sense that things are being consumed by the fire, such as fear, impatience, judgment, all the negative forces that are within you are now being consumed by the fire and the love of the universe, the universal love, is spreading throughout that area. Sense that things being consumed are your limiting thoughts, your limiting beliefs, feelings, and the patterns that you don't need around you. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath into your abdomen and allow this burning to take place. Let the flames fill the hollow of your stomach with positive and powerful energy. As the widening flame engulfs the center of your heart, feel that flood of tingling energy as your heart wounds are mended. Now let the flame continue its rising. It's going to begin to go out the center of your back and form a circle. It reaches up over the top of the head and pierces the 10th chakra, about 20 feet above you. And then it falls down again and back to the fourth chakra, the heart center. Then back out through the back and up into the 10th chakra. This is the amber flame of light, the new fifth dimension love center is called the circle of light. Breathe into it. Let the flame continue its rising. The tip is traveling up from your heart, going into your throat, going into your shoulders, going into your lungs with its healing heat. Feel how your body is now Emerge with the pure life center energy, with aliveness, with passion, with creative energy. Breathe that in. Feel the warmth, feel the joy, and feel the love. Know that you are centered, whole, and complete. Now you can begin your new mantra. May I always be present to show the path of light and love to the pathless and the suffering, wanderers of life. If they should not understand or be open to this inner realization, may I abide in patience from the death of loving kindness. May I continue to carry your love throughout the day and may it touch the heart of anyone that I see, interchange with, talk to, or think about. I lovingly send this light to all of my loved ones, my family members, and the people that matter, as well as to the others that I do not know. May I be aligned with my soul purpose and aligned with everyone I meet in this light of love, kindness, joy, and wellness. May I create a plan of action 
helping to accomplish the healing and removal of any negative energy that has come forth on the planet to destroy the body. My body is my temple. It is filled with your light every day. Thank you, Spirit, for being with me, for supporting me, and for supporting this purpose. May this energy, the fifth dimension energy of amber light, clear any blocks that are stopping me from knowing, achieving, and living for my divine purpose. May I discover the secret of how to keep this energy and alignment within me moving ahead as I walk my path throughout the year. Thank you for your kindness to me and for the world. Thank you for your presence in our lives, even when we are scared and concerned. Thank you for your patience, your understanding of our struggles, and for your joy of being in our lives. Thank you, God, for your love. Thank you, God, for your vast and deep understanding. Thank you, God, for all of this and more that you pour forth to us without end. In the name of the heart, the head, and the hand, I send blessings to all unseen people and all people that are dear to me and all people that have ever touched my life. I know that I am strong. I know that I am centered. I know that I am love, I know that I receive love, I know that I give love, and I know that I am. And so it is. Turn the seasons into stories to tell 